When Earth roars, a volcano awakens. The ground trembled violently, sending shockwaves through the landscape. A 7.0 magnitude earthquake rippled off Russia's eastern coast, shaking the very foundations of the region. The epicenter was near the Kamchatka Peninsula, a land known for its fiery temperament and volatile geological activity. This region, home to the formidable Shivalut volcano, was about to witness nature's raw, unbridled power. The sleeping giant, awakened by the seismic waves, prepared to unleash its fury upon the world. Shivaluk, a volcano with a long history of violent eruptions, was about to paint the sky with ash and fire once more. The earthquake, a deep tremor beneath the surface, acted as a trigger, setting off a chain reaction. It destabilized the forces holding Shivaluk's molten heart in check, causing the pressure to build. The pressure built steadily, seeking release. The tension in the air was palpable, and then it happened. With a surge of energy, Shivaluch erupted, spewing forth a massive cloud of ash that reached for the heavens, darkening the sky. The sky, once a serene blue, turned a menacing grey as the ash plume spread far and wide, a stark reminder of nature's untamed energy and the raw power of the earth beneath our feet. Five miles. That's how high the ash cloud climbed, reaching into the stratosphere, a dark tower of volcanic debris, a sight both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Imagine a column of ash taller than Mount Everest, blotting out the sun, casting an eerie twilight over the land. This was the immediate aftermath of Shivaluk's eruption, a powerful reminder of nature's raw and unpredictable force. The ash, a mixture of pulverized rock and glass, spread outwards, carried by the wind, settling over towns and fields. It cast a shadow over the surrounding landscape, a visible reminder of the volcano's power, turning day into night. But the ash cloud wasn't the only danger. The eruption brought with it multiple threats. Molten rock, glowing red, poured from the volcano's mouth, a river of destruction. Lava flows, rivers of fire cascaded down Shivaluk's slopes, incinerating everything in their path, leaving a trail of devastation. The heat was intense, radiating outwards, turning the air itself into a shimmering haze, making it hard to breathe. The ground trembled under the onslaught, a testament to the forces at play, shaking buildings and rattling nerves. Emergency services scrambled to respond, evacuating residents and providing aid, a race against time to save lives. In the aftermath, the landscape was scarred, a stark reminder of the volcano's fury, a testament to the power of nature. Despite the spectacle of fire and ash, there was a glimmer of hope. No immediate injuries were reported. Shivaluk, though powerful, sits in a sparsely populated region. The nearest major city, Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky, was far enough to avoid the brunt of the eruption. But the danger wasn't over. Authorities sprang into action. Warnings were issued, advising people to stay clear of the volcano. Air travel was disrupted, with flights rerouted to avoid the ash cloud. The response was swift, a testament to the preparedness of local authorities. They understood the risks posed by Shivaluk, a volcano with a history of unpredictable behavior. Shivaluk's eruption was a stark reminder that Earth is a living planet. It's a planet of constant change, where forces beyond our control shape and reshape the landscape. And volcanoes, those fiery vents in the Earth's crust, are a testament to this dynamic nature. Shivaluk wasn't alone in its display of power. Across the world, in Iceland, another volcano had recently woken. The eruption, though smaller in scale, captivated the world with its fiery display. Images of lava fountains and glowing lava flows spread across social media, a reminder that nature's beauty can be both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Section five, a silent giant Shivaluk's history. Shivaluk, a name that echoes with power, is one of the most active volcanoes on the Kamchatka Peninsula. This region, known as the Ring of Fire, is a hotbed of volcanic and seismic activity. Shivaluk, a stratovolcano, is built up of layers of ash and lava, a testament to its violent past. For centuries, Shivaluk has been a dominant presence in the lives of the indigenous people of Kamchatka. They viewed the volcano with a mixture of awe and respect recognizing its power to both destroy and create. Legends and stories were woven around Shivaluk, passed down through generations, keeping the memory of its fiery temperament alive. 
Section 6, The Science of Eruptions, Understanding Earth's Fury. What causes volcanoes to erupt? Deep within the Earth, temperatures soar, melting rock and creating what's known as magma. This molten rock, less dense than the surrounding solid rock, rises, seeking an escape route. When it reaches the surface, it erupts, creating a volcano. The type of eruption depends on the composition of the magma. Shivaluk, like many volcanoes in the Ring of Fire, is known for its explosive eruptions. This is because the magma is rich in silica, making it viscous or sticky. The gas trapped within the magma builds up pressure until it's released with explosive force. Section 7. Monitoring the behemoth keeping watch on Shivaluk. Scientists keep a watchful eye on Shivaluk. They use an array of instruments to monitor its every tremor, every puff of smoke. Seismometers detect earthquakes, which can be a precursor to an eruption. Gas sensors measure the release of sulfur dioxide and other volcanic gases. This constant monitoring provides valuable data, helping scientists understand Shivaluk's behavior. They can then use this information to issue warnings, giving people time to evacuate if an eruption seems imminent. It's a constant battle, a race against time to stay one step ahead of nature's fury. Section 8, a global perspective, volcanoes and our planet. Volcanoes, though destructive, play a vital role in shaping our planet. They release gases and ash into the atmosphere, influencing climate patterns. Volcanic eruptions have been linked to periods of global cooling and warming throughout Earth's history. Volcanic soils, rich in nutrients, support diverse ecosystems. The slopes of volcanoes are often covered in lush vegetation, providing habitat for a wide range of plant and animal life. Volcanoes, in their own way, contribute to the intricate web of life on Earth. Section 9, Respecting Nature's Power, Lessons from Eruptions. Volcanic eruptions, with their raw power, remind us of our place in the universe. We are but one species on a planet governed by forces far greater than ourselves. These events teach us humility, reminding us that we are not invincible. They also highlight the importance of scientific understanding. By studying volcanoes, we can learn to predict their behavior, mitigate risks, and protect lives. Knowledge is power, and in the face of nature's fury, it's our best defense. Section 10, preparing for the future, mitigating volcanic risks. As the global population grows, so too does the number of people living in the shadow of volcanoes. This makes it more important than ever to develop effective strategies for mitigating volcanic risks. Early warning systems, evacuation plans and hazard mapping are crucial. We must also invest in research and education. The more we understand about volcanoes, the better equipped we'll be to live with them. By sharing knowledge and working together, we can create a safer future for all who live in the shadow of these fiery giants. Section 11, Conclusion in Awe of Nature's Power. Shivaluk's eruption, a spectacle of fire and ash, is a stark reminder of the raw power that lies beneath our feet. The sheer force of molten rock and the billowing clouds of ash paint a vivid picture of Earth's untamed energy. This eruption is not just a natural event, it is a testament to the dynamic processes that shape our planet. It serves as a powerful reminder of the forces that have been at work for millions of years, sculpting the landscapes we see today. It's a reminder that Earth is a living planet, constantly changing, constantly evolving. The shifting tectonic plates, the rising mountains and the eroding valleys all tell a story of a world in perpetual motion, and we as humans are but temporary residents on this ever-changing world. Our time here is fleeting, yet we have the privilege to witness and study these magnificent processes. Let us approach nature with respect recognizing both its beauty and its power. The serene landscapes and the dramatic natural events are all part of the same intricate system. Recognizing the duality of nature's beauty and power is essential. The crashing waves and towering mountains are symbols of nature's grandeur and its potential for destruction. Let us strive to understand its complexities, for in doing so, we not only learn to protect ourselves, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the awe-inspiring planet we call home. By studying and preparing for natural events, we can mitigate their impacts and safeguard our communities. Knowledge and preparedness are our best defenses against nature's unpredictability, but also gain a deeper appreciation for the awe-inspiring planet we call home. The universe is vast, and we are but a small part of it, yet our understanding of it can grow infinitely. 
and we are but a small part of it. From the vastness of space, our planet is a tiny, fragile oasis of life. But even in our smallness, we have the capacity to learn, to adapt, and to find wonder in the face of the unknown. Our curiosity drives us to explore and understand the mysteries of our world. We have the ability to educate ourselves and future generations about the importance of preserving and respecting our environment through education and